Hey guys, today I thought I'd take you shopping with me and share with you what I bought. What did you say? I just got a couple pieces at Target, a little hearth in hand trinket dish, and this was actually an online item that was returned. It's a marble dish from Studio McGee. Because it was returned to the store, they sold it on a discount, so it was only $17. Something you could stand up to show off or just use as a tray flat and put things in, put on a shelf. I love the warmth of the color and I thought it would be a really neat piece. One big item I got at the thrift store was this awesome terracotta pot. It was $3.99. I love how solid and heavy it is and that it's a shallow, wide piece. This type of thing is great for arrangements inside. I could fill it with soil and tulip bulbs and have a beautiful spring arrangement on the dining room table, something like that. It's got drainage and I love that it's already patinaed and worn and already is taking on sort of a naturalized finish to it. This guy was only a couple bucks. It's just for candles. I love that it's black and steel and could be really cute for like Christmas decor. If you get some garland and wrap it around there, add some greenery and some white candles, it could be really cute. This little trinket I thought was neat. It's two pieces of wood that are slatted to fit into each other. I thought it might work well as like a pedestal in a shelf to lift something higher and make something stand out. And I love the natural wood finish of it. This guy was 50 cents, I think. It's a woven little tray. I think tiny detail in it is beautiful. I love the oval shape of it and the color. This could go well in a lot of different spaces. I might use it for like hand soap in the bathroom or just put it on a cute shelf with a couple items on it. I love using trays and decor because they help kind of corral and gather items together so they don't look like they're just floating out there. They're confined and it looks more intentional and designed. This next item, a lady saw it in my cart and I think she was jealous, but there are these set of two mirrors. They have this sort of geometric, abstract texture around the outside that's very three-dimensional and thick and a nice, like shabby chic, distressed look to it in this beautiful cream color. I have a plan for this for my aunt's house. They've got great mounting hardware on the back. They were only $7 each, very cute. And the last thing I got were some books. I've been trying to track down good hardback covers. I got a Star Wars one for my cousin's room. Harry Potter, I'm always looking for a good condition Harry Potter books in hardback. There's a Spiderwick book. And then I found a nice series of unfortunate events book. I love these be in particular because they have a unique texture. When you look at the pages, they have like a rough, unfinished, 
uneven look to them and I think they look really cool styled on a shelf. I have a whole the whole series in my bookshelf and the actual book itself has a very neutral color when you style them facing this way. And there's a couple of more nice hardbacks. This River Horse book was intriguing to me. The artwork on it is really pretty. It's in good shape. There's beautiful illustrations in it. I also picked up a 99 cent picture frame. I have a plan for this for my cousin's room also. And then I liked the look of this sign. It's just a chalkboard sign that has a nice shape to it. I might DIY this and show you in a, a future video. So those were all my home decor finds today. I hope you enjoyed me shopping around a little bit and seeing what I picked out.